Okay, so now let's try to read the username instead of the email. So in here, let's say username or display name. Let's save it again and see what will happen. So here it is. It seems that it is null. So to fetch it like that, we need to set it once the user sign up. And the name here is still guest, so we need to change it first, then I will do it. So in here, let's call the name, let's check if it is null. And if this is the case, we say guest. And if it is not, we put it like this. Now let's try it. Here it is, it is working fine. Now let's log up. Okay, so once I log out, we need to go now to see to the sign in and I will delete the user emails and I will delete the document reload and that's it. Now let's go to the sign up screen and so in here we can call the user and say update profile and in here you can check or add the photo URL or display name. For example, you, we can add the photo URL by adding the URL to it. And we can set the display name equal to full name like this. Now we need to say user dot reload to apply the changes. And let's go to the user info now and access the URL from here. So since we are printing this, we can print now the photo URL also. Here it is. We can set also the phone number and anything that you want. And we can set the phone number by calling this method, the update phone number. That's it. Now let's change this and let's restart the application and let's register now. So in here, let's name it test1. The email address will be test2, for example, at gmail.com. Put a password and a phone number. We need to pick up an image. Here it is. Now let's sign up and wait for it. So the sign up now completed and everything is working fine. Let's go to this page. Here it is. It is working fine. Let's search for photo URL. Here it is. Here is the photo URL. If I press on it. Here it is, and let's search for display name, and here it is. Now you can save it to the Firestore, and you can fetch it just like in this way. So I did it in the either way, so, and you can choose the one that you prefer. In the next video, we will implement the sign in as a guest method, and we will allow the user to sign in anonymously. So stay tuned.